Hiya folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about psychedelic spirituality and astrology. Hope to see you there. Hello again folks, my name is Dustin Cormier, you guys are watching How to Rock a Campfire. Today's episode is on an awesome song by from the 70s, 1973, Three Dog Night, it's called The Road to Shambhala. Very spiritual lyrics. Um, I, I love this song because it's really about spirit. The 70s and the 60s were spiritual times, obviously. And um, everyone was doing psychedelics and stuff at the time, and it was really quite a crescendo of consciousness. It's almost like the Renaissance era of the medieval times. Um, and everyone was naturally tuned to spirituality and to India and to all that stuff that I love. And this song is kind of uh, a reflection of that time um, and that conscious state at the time. Uh, my favorite line in this song is, um, I can tell my sister by the flowers in her hair on the road to Shambhala. And I can tell my brother by the light in his eyes on the road to Shambhala. It's like Shambhala is this beautiful picture of this human paradise that we're all subconsciously wanting to go to. I don't know if paradise is possible or whatever, but there is an optimal thing that we could sort of, you know, consciously move toward if we were all there. And that's what they were trying to do in the 60s, and that's kind of what the song is all about, you know, on the road to Shambhala. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys dig this one. I'm just going to basically show you how to play it and then just go through however I can. <clears throat> so uh, the, that main riff that everybody kind of knows is, uh, it's not too hard. Uh, it's mostly a riff that is kind of accenting the bass notes. That's really what makes the fullest aspect of this song. Um, <clears throat> and so I guess that's just what I'm going to show you what to do. Just did a little guitar switch because that guitar was buzzing a little bit. Guitar buzz is a bit too, but we're going to have to make do. <clears throat> so that's pretty basically the main riff that's going throughout the whole thing. What you're doing is you're climbing chromatically from the fourth fret, the fourth fret of the A string, chromatically up all the way up to the seventh, right? Um, but instead of hitting the 7th, you just basically hit the open D string. 4th, 5th, 6th, and then D string. So what I like to do in this song is, um, instead of, I, I usually I'll take my my 2nd finger and put that on the 3rd fret of the, uh, or the 5th fret of the A string. So, um, but this song, you don't want to leave that high E open there. So what I'll do is I'll bar the 2nd fret of the G string, B string, and E string, and then use my third finger to keep on the third fret of the B string to, for the for the D chord. I'm making a D chord with my first finger barring the second fret of the high uh, high strings, and my second finger is going to be used to come down to that C note. It's like I'm going from a D chord to a, a D slash C chord, a D chord with a C on the bass. And then uh, the third note is uh, basically a, a G chord with a D on the bass. Um, but there's a specific riff that you want to hear, and it's basically just the A string, D string, and G string. Down, down, down. Except when you hit that A string, obviously, you got your first finger on that B note. Down, 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 down. But you don't want to hear, it, like I said, try not to hear uh, when you lift your second finger. Try not to hear the e, the high E note. I'll do it sometimes, just I guess out of habit, but I'll, you know, you try not to, right? Um, wash away my troubles, wash away my pain with the rain and Shambhala. Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame. part is the same thing, right? You do the chorus twice, and then you do the second verse. Everyone is helpful, everyone is kind on the road to Shambhala. Uh, um, and then, so the 
second part of the second verse. And then after the second verse, we come into the chorus, which is pretty easy. sort of, I guess it's not a chorus, it's more of like a bridge, that little Yeah, we'll call that the bridge. <laughs> uh, that's what's fun, is that we gotta make it whatever it is, you know, <laughs> for our own purposes. <laughs> it's not a chorus just because it says chorus on this piece of paper, it's just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what we make of it. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, uh, after that last chorus with the uh, Halls of Shambhala part, uh, we go to the last verse. Uh, I can tell my brother by the light in his eyes on the road to Shambhala. And then you go to the last bridge, and then you go to the chorus one last time. How does your light shine on the road to Shambhala? keep messing up the words but it's actually a beautiful lyric how does your light shine in the halls of Shambhala it's like Shambhala is like life and like how does your life shine I don't know awesome lyric cool image anyway so yeah um, I've pretty much shown you guys all the bits and pieces of this song um, like I said there's really only that main riff and then the uh, the chorus part that's slightly different, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to show this once slowly so you guys can get an appreciation of it going slow and then I'll actually do the thing. say also for beginners if it's a little bit too weird for you to, t to use that uh, bar chord D just take your finger off and then when you go use your second finger to go to the C note and just leave that high E open it's not a huge deal it kind of blends with the rest of the thing anyway <clears throat> but I prefer not to do it for this song so that's it slow down and I'm just gonna show you guys the whole thing so this is the road to Shambhala by three dog night awesome Spiritual tunes. I love these cool, illuminating, heartfelt, um, spiritual tunes. You know, it gets the spirit going. <laughs> I think, anyway. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so this is the road to Shambhala, and I hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> Everyone is kind on the road to Shambhala. 
a hard and weird. You'll notice that I'm trying to like, I don't know, I've got this note memorized as the B note on there. That's kind of the note that I go for in the chorus. Sometimes it's useful to do that when you're playing. All right. <clears throat> How does your light shine? Something like that, anyway. So that was the Road to Shambhala uh, by Three Dog Night. Uh, I screwed up the lyrics at the first part. <laughs> Wash away my troubles with the rain in Shambhala. It's a part of the metaphor. You screwed it up, Dustin. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, I'm Dustin Cormier for How to Rock a Campfire, and I'll see you guys on the flibbity jibbity. <laughs>